What's up guys, this is Jake and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up and sell digital products on your Shopify store. So digital products isn't something that is natively available in Shopify, so you actually have to use a third party app to set up selling digital products. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can do that using an app called Easy Digital Downloads. So if you want to follow along, you can click the first link in the description to check out the app, or you can just search for Easy Digital Downloads here in the Shopify App Store and install the app. Now, once you have the app installed, you can go ahead and open it up, and it's going to take just a couple of seconds to actually set up a digital product. So in order to set up and sell digital products in Shopify, you have to have a regular product in Shopify and then use the app to link a file to that product. So I'm gonna show you how you can link a normal file to that product, and then I'm gonna also show you how you can sell license keys if you want to sell some type of software or something that requires license keys to access it. So starting off, you can come over here to the digital products page in the app, and we're gonna click on create digital product. For this first one, we're just gonna sell a normal file product. So this one would just be ebook. And then you can see right here we have the connected product so we need to connect to a existing product in our store so when we click on select products we can see all of the different products here and i'm going to just connect it to this demo ebook right here and what this is going to do is this is going to mean whenever somebody goes and checks out this product which is right here on the store they're going to receive the files that you attach to the product right here. Now, one quick note with the product in Shopify, if we jump over here to the product, there's just one setting that you need to make sure you have correct. So if I open up demo ebook here, you want to scroll down and I'll open up one of these variants to show you the option. And you just want to make sure that under the shipping section that this is a physical product is unchecked. So, because if this is checked, then customers will actually have to enter a shipping address, and that's not valid for a digital product. So you just want to make sure that this is a physical product is unchecked on the product and every variant for your digital products. So jumping back to the app, now we can choose the content type, whether we want to provide the customer access to a file, to license keys, or to a mix of both. So for this example, we'll do file. So then you can just add your files here and the app supports many of the common file types and then you just need to click on create and then once you do that this file will now be successfully linked to this product here in Shopify. So now if I were to go place an order for this product if I come over to the store and I add the demo ebook to the cart I'll just go ahead and check out real quick and show you what it looks like. So we can see now since we're buying a product that we marked that is not a physical product, we can see that we don't have to enter a shipping address. So now that we place the order, we can jump over to the customer email that is provided to see what it will look like when they're getting access to the product. So we can see now we received an order confirmation email and this is from the customer side. So now the customer can access the downloads by clicking this button in the email. So if we open this up right here, it's going to bring us to a native download page in your store. And then you can see the order number, and then we can see the files right here, and we can choose download to go ahead and download these files. So before I do, if we come over here back to the app, and I go over here to orders, we can see right here all of the orders here in the app show and we can see that right now the content accessed is no. But if I come over here and I click download, and then we go back to the app and refresh the page, we can see that now it shows the content access is yes. So you can track whenever your customer actually accesses the files that are a part of your product. So that's literally all you have to do to set up a digital product where you are delivering a file as the end product. 
and you can manage the order by coming in here. You can see the details such as when the product was downloaded, when the email was sent. You can set download limits, resend the confirmation email, or disable the download at any time. So now let me show you how you can do this same process except instead of delivering a file, you can deliver license keys. So if we come over here to license keys in the app and click on import keys, we can just paste license keys in here. So I'll just put a couple demo ones and each line is going to be a new key. So I'll add in these three license keys and then we can add in an optional tag. So in this case, I'll just put testing for the tag. And what this tag is going to do is it's going to allow us to link an entire group of license keys to a specific product. So I'm gonna click on import. And now we can see we have three different license keys here that are available. So available means that they have not been assigned to a specific order yet. So whenever somebody places an order with a product that is linked to this testing tag, they will receive one of the keys with the testing tag. So in order to set this up, we just go back to digital products and then we create one. And this one would just be I just name it software product and I will connect it to this software product right here. And then instead of the content being a file, we can make the content a license key. And then we can add in the license key tag that we just made, which was testing. So what this will do is now every single time somebody buys this software product, it will send the customer one of the license keys that has the testing tag associated with it. So I'll go ahead and create this product. Now one thing to note when you are creating products with license keys, if you have a set amount of license keys, which in this case we have three license keys for this product, you may want to come over to the product, open it up, and actually set that as the inventory as well so that way you don't oversell. So I could change the available down to three in this case to match the amount of license keys that we have. Now, if you do end up selling more of the product than the available license keys you have, the app will send you an alert email letting you know. But this is a good safeguard to have in place. Now, I'm going to go place a test order for this product and show you what this looks like. So we just placed an order for the license key product. And if we come over to the app, and we take a look at orders, we'll see the second order is now showing up. And if we look at license keys now, we can see that this key with this tag has been assigned to this specific order. And then if we take a look at the order confirmation email, we can do the same thing where we click this link to access the downloads. And it's gonna look just a little bit different here for the license keys. We can see it's gonna be hidden by default. And then if you click on copy, the license key will then be available right here. And then once that button is clicked over here on the orders page, it will show that the content has been accessed. So that's how you can sell digital products, both with files and with license keys inside of your Shopify store. It is pretty simple to set up. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. Check out the Easy Digital Downloads app if you are looking to sell digital products in your Shopify store. And with that said, give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys in another one.